Next is for patients with cervical radiculopathy pertaining to shoulder pain coming from impinged nerves on the neck. By working on the cervical musculature of the patient with soft tissue as well as myofascial release that can help any kind of hypertonicity that is attributing to compression of nerves that radiate down into the patient's shoulder. All you can do is put an anterior superior force to help massage and knead the cervical musculature posteriorly on the patient. This can be performed for at least 30 to 60 seconds or until you feel tissues, texture changes on the cervical paraspinals. Next is for a cervical muscle energy for patients that have cervical somatic dysfunctions that can induce cervical radiculopathy such as patients that have radiation of their pain down the right shoulder for somatic dysfunctions on the cervicals. For instance, if the patient has a flexed, side bent right, rotated right cervical, uh, I would take the patient into a slightly extended, I would side bend them left and rotate them left. Once I get to that restrictive barrier, I would ask the patient to turn their head back into neutral. And relax, take them further into their barrier, push, and relax. Last one, push, and relax. Final stretch, reassess the patient's tissue texture changes as well as their cervical dysfunctions that can help or be causing issues with cervical radiculopathy.